Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J, and today is Friday, June 12th. To be prepared for reading class today, you need your reading YouTube video, of course. You need your Google form for your stop and jot and exit tickets. You also need the link to Bud Not Buddy, open to chapter 19, page 132. Today we're going to begin reading the first half of chapter 19 of Bud Not Buddy. We're going to be tracking the character interactions Bud is continuing to have to learn more about him and how he is feeling now and how he is feeling now that he has revealed who his mom was to Herman and the band from the previous chapter. Let's recap a little bit. What did Bud just find out? That's right. He found out that Herman E. Calloway is his grandfather. Let's begin with reading the first page of chapter 19 together. As we read, think of the information we found out in order to answer the first question. While we're reading, think, why do you think Herman E. Calloway locks himself into the room? Man, Ever since he heard me call my mama's name, Herman E. Calloway had locked himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Mr. Jimmy and Miss Thomas made me sit at the kitchen table while they knocked on his door and tried to talk him into opening it up. But the way they kept saying, Herman, soft at first, then louder and louder, it sounded like he wasn't talking back. After the longest while, they decided to let the big baby have his own way and came back downstairs. They sat at the kitchen table with me. Miss Thomas looked at me and said, My, my, my. Mr. Jimmy said, Now look here, bud. He wiped his hand over his face. You're sure your mama's name was Angela Janet? I said, Yes, sir. Why do you think Herman E. Calloway locks himself into the room? He locks himself in the room because he is shocked and possibly also misses his daughter. That's why he never let her room change in the house. Next, you will read pages 133 to 135 and stop after rule nine. You'll then get into your first stop and jot and showing your understanding of how Bud and Herman are feeling directly after Bud tells Herman and the band who his mother is. You should be able to explain how their moves have switched up around the house and how they are acting now. This is connecting to our teaching point of learning more about the main character by interactions he is continuing to have. Once you complete your reading, resume the video. Welcome back. So you should have completed the reading and entered your first stop and job. Explain how the interactions between Bud and Herman have changed since Bud shared the news. Their interactions have done a complete 360. Herman was the mean, grumpy old guy towards Bud and never nice. Now that Bud has revealed the information to him about his mother's name, Herman has been hiding and crying this whole time, but is being very timid around him as well when trying to get his things and no longer comfortable. We're going to finish reading page 135 together. Follow along as I read aloud. While I'm reading, think about why does Bud explain an adult crying as boiling tragedies? With babies, it's easy not to pay them no mind because crying's just like talking for a baby. As babies' tears might mean, hey, you just took a pin in my behind when you changed my diapers. Or their crying might be the way they picked out to say, good morning, mama. What are we going to do today? That makes it easy not to care too much about a baby's tears. 
When you got an old person crying, you got a whole nother story. When you got someone as old as Herman E. Calloway crying, you better look around because you know you're square in the middle of one of those boiling tragedies. You can't help but feel sorry for him, even if he's been mean to you from the minute he first had eyes on you, even if he's crying because he found out the two of you were kin. I walked over to Herman E. Calloway, and before I could think, my hand moved out toward his back. I waited for one of those spaces between the muzz and the huzz, then I touched him. His skin under his shirt was very, very warm. So why does Bud explain an adult crying as boiling tragedies? Because in comparison to babies, when adults cry, it's not over something small and petty. And it's easy to not care about a baby's tears. Whereas an adult's tears come from a place of actual where you have to feel sorry for them. Whereas an adult's tears come from a place where you actually have to feel sorry for them. Now you're going to independently read pages 136 to 138, then get into your second stop and jot of explaining what Bud is learning from his current interaction with Miss Thomas. He is finally finding out vital information about why his grandfather wasn't around or didn't actually come looking for them in Flint. So go ahead, once you complete your second stop and jot, resume the video. Welcome back. So you should have stopped at page 138 and completed your second stop and jot question. Explain what happened to Herman E. Calloway and Bud's mother's relationship. Herman basically pushed her away by his temper and the way he wanted things done within her life. He didn't allow her to choose her path because he was mean about his rules and it made her run off with the drummer and never look back. I'm gonna finish reading the first half of the chapter together. We will read page 139 and stop for today. Then you will complete the last stop and jump. This has been on my table. This has been on my dressing table for 13 years, but ever since your mother was 16 years old, now it belongs to you. I wanted to say thank you but I just stared at the picture in the heavy iron frame. It was mama. The picture only showed her head all around the edges. It was smoky or foggy so that it looked like mama would have poked her head out of a cloud. And mama was smiling, the same soft smile she'd give me when she got home from work. It'd been so long since I'd seen mama smile that I wanted to laugh and cry at the same time. Miss Thomas said, let me show you something, bud. She took the frame out of my hands and said, watch this. She moved the picture up and down, right and left, then around in circles. Do you see how her eyes are on you all the time? No matter which way you look at the picture, she's watching. It seemed like Mama was looking directly at me, no matter where Miss Thomas put the picture. Can I keep this? I feel like I've been holding on to it until the rightful owner came along, and it looks to me like he's finally shown up. What took you so long, child? Miss Thomas patted me under my, underneath my chin. She said, but bud, you've got a problem I'm going to need your help with. Uh-oh. You said you were six years old when your mother died? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that was four years ago. Yes, ma'am. Now you're going to pause here and answer your last stop and jot. How does Bud feel about seeing the mother of his picture? Once you complete it, resume the video. Welcome back. So how does Bud feel about seeing the picture of his mother? 
Red is feeling happy and sad at the same time. He is happy to finally have another picture of her and know this was her home, but sad because he misses her and her smile so much. So now, the secret code for today's reading is Citrus, C-I-T-R-U-S. Again, the secret code for today's reading is Citrus, C-I-T-R-U-S. Now you're going to head over to your stop and jot and complete the exit ticket.